Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn how to use FOIL to multiply binomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So what is FOIL? This is a term that's used a lot and some teachers really don't like it but I think it's a good way to remember how to multiply binomials and it's derived from the distributive property. FOIL stands for the first outer, inner, last. That's it. The first terms multiply, outer terms multiply, inner terms multiply, last terms multiply. So where are we getting that? So we see sometimes this uh, expression written like this, ax plus b times cx plus d. And when we multiply them, they're telling us we want to multiply the first terms first, then outer terms, then inner terms, and then last terms. And so our first terms are the ax and the cx. The outer terms would be the ax and the d. The inner terms would be the b and the cx. And the last terms would be b and the d. And I'm going to pause this video right now so you can see a little infographic showing what they are. If you, uh, or not pause, you can pause the video and you can see it there and it's going to pop up. But um, we're just going to move on here now. We have, this would equal eventually ACX squared plus ADX plus BCX plus B times D. Okay, and I find this is almost easier just to kind of hop in and do uh, do the problem or solve, simplify the problem uh, with using FOIL, but I use arches all the time to show me using FOIL. So let's go with example 5 here, okay, and we're going to use FOIL here to find the product. We're given 2x minus 10 times 3x plus 3. Okay, so we want to multiply our first terms, and this is the way I like to do it. The first terms are the 2x and the 3x. So I make my arch first, and I'll write that here, just 2x times, let's say, 3x. Okay, then we're going to add now, O for an oil sounds for outer, so 2x times the 3, so we have 2x, I'll do it like this. Well, how do I Yeah, let's go like this. 2x times the 3 here. So 2x times times the 3 plus, now they say the inner terms, negative 10 times the 3x right here. So plus negative 10 times a 3x. And now our last terms in FOIL, negative 10 times the 3. So we have plus a negative 10 times the 3. And as you get better, you won't show this step. You'll kind of just multiply it out. But that comes with time and practice. So let's go multiply this or simplify. 2x times 3x is a 6x squared. Plus 2x times 3 is just a 6x. Okay. Then we have plus negative 10 times 3x is a negative 30x. And lastly, negative 10 times 3 is a negative 30. What we still want to combine are last terms here. Okay, we want to combine our last terms. Uh, or sorry, simplify everything together. Sorry, we already combined our last terms. So we can combine our like terms. That's the word I was looking for. So 6x is really, a 6x squared is by itself, no like term there, plus 6x plus a negative 30x is a, well, negative 24x, okay? And then we have a minus 30 right here, we bring that down, and now we've combined our like terms, and we have our final answer, 6x squared minus 24x minus 30. So hopefully now you understand FOIL a little better, uh, the first outer and our last to multiply binomials. If so, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. This help us, helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.